warning message has arrived. Be with you in just a minute here. Hold on. Look like we're having technical difficulties already. I hope not. I hope not. Real short video. It should be. Hold on a minute. Taking a little bit longer than I thought here. Okay. Early in the morning, don't expect nobody to be here. I just want to make this comment commentary. You have seven hours and twenty minutes of remaining drive time. How you doing this morning, YouTube? Proceed to the highlighted route. We set this in motion. Let's go. Let's go. I was on a... Uh... I was video. Actually watching a video. Uploaded by... A person... Called... Uh called Riza Islam. I really don't know a lot about Riza Islam. Heard he was a Scientologist. Heard, he, you know, I saw some back and forth he had with uh, young Farah. You have seven hours and 19 minutes of remaining drive time. But really don't know too much about him except I know he's a Loves Louis Farrakhan. So in the I don't I don't know what his subject really was. But he wanted to make perfectly clear. And he said, You cannot argue, you would agree. <laughs> okay. Okay. With no doubt, Louis Farrakhan is the only black man in America. The only brother, of course, they don't use that word, soul brother. Y'all like using those words that your pastor gave you. Not, not your own words and labels and descriptions from your own people. You know, you black and you have homes and all those silly stuff. Oh, well, that's words that you learn from your master too. <laughs> These people. <laughs> if you don't know me by now, if you don't know me by now, you're on channel. I'm the mighty one. As always, in the name of our ancestors, I'm the mighty one. And you're snubbed up seven. This, of course, is the Realities Temple on Earth uh, ministry. And if, well, I'm also your soul brother number one. In a quarter mile, take entrance to the left on I-80 West. 
like I said, I don't know what I don't know what the subject that he really wanted to talk about on the video. But he started off that way. In 700 feet, take the entrance to the left on I-80 West. That Louis Farrakhan is feared by the United States government. Can you really believe that? Is that, is that true? Why would the United States government fear government? Why would they fear Louis Farrakhan? No, serious. I would tell you what the video this conversation was taking place. But Rizzi Islam Continue took on this road for 127 miles. I assume he took the video down because whatever subject he was talking about, the people didn't want to. Technical difficulties as usual. When he made that statement, whatever his subject was, nobody wanted to talk about his subject. They wanted to talk about how Farrakhan, the Nation of Islam, murder of Malcolm X, Louis Farrakhan, you don't have to be charged with a crime. He is still a suspected accessory to a crime, a, a suspected accessory to murder. This is fact. But we want to talk about Riza Islam making a claim the United States government fears Farrakhan. Now, when you talk about fear, we don't have to go. To, we don't have to go to the dictionary. Y'all know what fear is. When you was little, and you knew some, you know that you did something that your parents did not like. You feared the punishment. You knew something was going to happen to you. Something to cause you harm. Something that you did not like. You don't play around with, with rattlesnakes. And the reason why you don't play around with rattlesnakes, and if you hear that rattle, it causes you fear because you know that rattlesnake can bite you and that poison can kill you. So when we talk about fear, we are talking about the ability to cause some kind of damage, some type of harm. Fear is natural. Fear keeps you out of some trouble. Rizzo Islam says that Louis Farrakhan is feared by the United States government. How? What does Farrakhan do? What has he done to cause the United States harm to make them view him as a threat? He does not explain this because you have the ability to draw thousands of people to listen to a damn speech. Somebody scared? You ain't saying a damn thing in the speech, justice or else. And then you punk out because you don't want to, because you really don't explain what the or else is about. Then you turn around, talk about, I need. 10,000 strong men to, to do what? Don't never really explain what you need this these 10,000 strong men to do. You don't really explain what their mission is. And then you should have 10,000 men since y'all so big and bad, you should have 10,000 men just among your own folks. But you want to ask the outsiders because like a coward Louis Farrakhan has been 
he wants you, he wants to inspire you to do what he's scared to do. In the 1960s, Farrakhan got on the roster, killed Malcolm, man worthy of death. He's not going to do nothing. Inspiring somebody else, some of y'all dumbass idiots, inspire you to do it. I heard that one of the persons that was accused of Malcolm X murder, they had second thoughts. Remember, these were young men, easily influenced by people like Farrakhan and Elijah Muhammad, because they're not going to do nothing. They are going to influence their stooges to do their dirty work and sit back in the cut. I didn't do nothing. They made no attempt to defend these men, made no attempt just sat back in the cut and watch. And they kept living their rich lifestyle. Elijah Muhammad in his mansion and now Farrakhan sitting back in his mansion, his big house, the big house like the Masa got, the big house, and your plantation of slaves. Your leadership, your black conscience, black first, RBG nation, comedic Hebrew, that's all they want is their own big house. They want to be the Masa and you are a slave. The United States government has nuclear weapons, AK-47, the biggest army in the world, but they scared of Louis Farrakhan. What the hell? Again, Rizal Islam, I want to ask you, what has Farrakhan done? What has he done? What is he doing to make them fear? If the government wanted to, they could rob, get, get all of you, all of you up and throw you in the damn ocean anytime they feel like it. It's laughable because you, you got a pretty speech. Nobody is scared of a, of a pretty speech unless, okay, unless that speech they know can lead to something that can cause them harm. Farrakhan has been speaking right in his mouth for over 40 years. It has not led up to nothing to be feared of. The usual veiled threats that some God is going to do something. Now in the case of Malcolm X, <laughs> we can't wait on God. We got to go get our little pop pistols and our little knives. We got to take care of Malcolm X right now. We can't wait on God. But for the United States government, oh God, and the earthquakes and the hurricanes and the blizzards, and we, we got to wait on God to deal with him. A bunch of cowards. Those Jews was across the street. Who do you want, Farrakhan? How do you want them? Dead. Didn't do nothing. Here, you didn't do nothing to them. Didn't tell them to shut up. Didn't threaten their life. But somebody on YouTube, here you come, y'all faceless suckers. You better not come to my neighborhood. I do this. I do that. Don't make threats against against uh, Jews or the United States government. Always against soul brothers and sisters, like the cowards you are. The only thing you want is some slaves for your plantation. I want Rizzo Islam to go into detail and show and prove how the United States government fears Farrakhan.
I want Rizzo Islam to show and prove how a person, just because they wasn't charged with a crime, they cannot be a suspected accessory to murder. When they were running around, making threats, calling for the death of a person, and that person end up dead. Really. The United States government is not scared of no nation of Islam, scared of no Farrakhan. The United States government is capable and have taken down countries. Iraq, Saddam Hussein had the third largest nation on the planet, so they say. And we see what happened to Saddam Hussein. Not too long after Farrakhan visited him, matter of fact. And if you notice, a few of those guys who Farrakhan was buddy buddy with, it's real funny. The United States took them, took them out. I want to know is how does Farrakhan cause the United States government fear. Forty years. What what have you shown? What have you done to make these people scared of you? Except run your mouth. Making veiled threats about what some God is gonna do. Not you. You ain't gonna do a damn thing. Except lay around and eat the best food fly on the on the best airplane, stay in the best hotels, because you got a bunch of idiots supporting you. Cause you feed their fantasy of some God gonna do their fighting for cause they ain't scary and lazy, a bunch of trifling ass beggars just like you are. And then you have somebody like Malcolm Flex TV to show you how lost these people are, you got Malcolm Flex TV actually made videos trying to prove that black folks, so brothers and sisters born in America, we are the tribe of Shabazz by DNA. That's the, that was the most sinless, ridiculous, and you have people actually, go ahead and teach brother, show and prove brother. Your first problem, and the main problem you have, you don't have no DNA from nobody from no tribe of Shabazz. So how the hell can you even begin to make a claim like that? The most stupid, deep, I just believe any, woo! I am so happy, like they say in religion, I am so happy to be blessed not to be stupid like that. Even when I was a child, when I was a baby, you couldn't get me like that. You got grown men and women fold them out because somebody talk about what God gonna do and you wait two years and you wait three years and you wait 20 years and 30 years and this God ain't did a damn thing. Y'all some stupid ass silly you deserve to be destroyed. What's up there, Robin? You deserve everything that you get. You damn stupid. I've never been around a group of people that's a bunch of idiots. I'm not here to make you feel good. I'm not here, cause, and I don't give a damn because you get upset. You a crybaby. You're a crybaby anyway. Everything make you upset. I've never been around a group of people, the so-called Negro, so impressed by fairy tale stories. Do you know what a pacifier is? A pacifier 
is, is a piece of plastic that you give a baby to, to trick the baby into believing that the child is on his or her mother's milk on her her mother's on their mother's breast. They suck this piece of plastic and they don't get nothing. But they are being satisfied. They feel as, as though they are getting fed. That's what Farcon is. All your religious spirituality ain't nothing but big ass pacifiers for your big baby ass. Sucking on a piece of plastic, you're getting no nourishment, you're not getting fed. Speed limit reduced to half. Listening to Louis Farrakhan. Farrakhan is such a coward. When you listen to him speak, he won't. Farrakhan know not to cross the line. Farrakhan know just how to talk, just enough, so those devils won't make a move on him. And if you listen, I, I hear it all the time. He'll talk all that bad stuff get on the line and then he'll back his ass off because if you cross that line he know he done eighty years old they don't give a damn if you have prostate cancer or not they'll throw your happy ass in jail in prison for the rest of your life Farrakhan want to enjoy his family want to enjoy their pretty houses, y'all done bought him. His personal ambulance, his cars, his houses, all this stuff, his traveling. Yeah, you're right, Robin. The Masons, some, some black Masons, who ain't about nothing neither. They don't do nothing, put on these pretty clothes. They ain't no, they're not a threat to the United States government or nothing either. Just a bunch of church goers. They just gave Farrakhan some honor. He's an honorary mason. It's a, all of it is a joke. Y'all like people put on these pretty costumes, bow ties and suits and fezzes. Y'all like, y'all like dress up like you're a child. And, and next month, or rather this month, I believe it's October the first. Is today, right? Sweet morning. Y'all fit, y'all fit right in with Halloween, in your damn costume, play dress up. Nobody take you serious. Nobody take you serious. Serious. Speed warning. <laughs> Rowan says honorary Q dog. <laughs> Honorary rapper. That's all y'all interested. That, that's some big deal stuff. Honorary Mason. Honorary Christian. Honorary whatever. All these accolades. And you drinking poison water. Breathing poison air. Your food is poison. The damn planet getting hotter and hotter every damn day. And you, and you are impressed because somebody can can talk about what God gonna do. And God ain't did a damn thing in 40 years. Pretty costume. Play. You, you might as well play Barbie. Cause that's what it is. You might as well play Barbie and Ken. Play, you playing Dolly. As grown as adults, you are still playing Dolly. Barbie. G.I. Joe. Justice or else what? I know what you want to say, but you're not going to say it because you don't want to go to prison. You're already on the you're already on the terrorism list. You're already considered a black identity a uh, terrorist. Oh man! And they fear. Speed warning. 
Farrakhan was taking money, Farrakhan was taking big time money from Colonel Gaddafi. And then the United States government, who you said fear, who scared of Farrakhan, told Farrakhan, if you take any more money from that guy, we gonna charge you with treason. We gonna charge you with affiliation with the enemy of the United States. Farrakhan didn't take no more money from Colonel Gaddafi. Why? Is it that Farrakhan is feared by the United States government or Farrakhan feared the United States government? It's, it's the other way around. Farrakhan stopped taking money from Colonel Gaddafi. And Colonel Gaddafi told Farrakhan, not only will I give you this five million dollars, but you have access to the wealth, the whole, the whole richness of Libya. And the United States government said, try to get it. You ain't gonna live here and take money from that dude. And Farrakhan backed off all his, his God and everything. And he backed off and stopped taking money from, from Colonel Gaddafi. Oh, but they scared of him. They scared of Elijah Muhammad. Elijah Muhammad running around telling people, don't go to the to the military, fight in World War II. They threw him in jail. They threw, they threw Elijah Muhammad in jail, the messenger of God, because they were scared of him. Right. They threw, they threw Master Farad Muhammad, the God of the nation of Islam, threw him in jail too. Oh, because they were scared of Master Farad Muhammad. Boy, <laughs> the Negro and your fairy tale. I'm so glad to get out of that stuff. Woo! Man, it's time for you to grow up. But see, you, you, you're cowards. And you like these stories. You want somebody to do your fighting for you. You want somebody else to do all the work, like Martin, like Martin Luther King, like Martin Luther King did, and get shot in the neck for your for y'all happy ass. Fight and die so that you can sit on the bus and your ass fighting on the bus, getting drunk on the bus. Most of the time, you go straight to the back of the bus. And you think I'm gonna do that? Oh no, 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 no. Time for the Negro to go extinct, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> not me, uh-uh. And Farrakhan not gonna sacrifice for your ass either. That's why he won't cross that line. He's not gonna do it either. Rizzi Islam gonna say, Y'all know that Farrakhan, they scared of him. You can agree, at least you can agree on that. You're, really? Somebody in, in that chat room, in that comment section told me, well if Farrakhan, if they're not scared of Farrakhan, he's, he's the black people's last hope. No, he's not. There are many other voices, many other people out here you don't even give a chance to listen to because you're so mesmerized by this loser. Talk about Farrakhan is our last hope. If Farrakhan is your last hope, you done for real. It's over. Might as well kiss your wife and your children and your dog Spot goodbye. You a done deal. And the reality is, Farrakhan don't give a damn. His days are numbered. He lived his life. You are the one 
gonna feel like a fool for following this guy to nowhere. What does he care about your future when his life is almost over? You know it, and he knows it. What the, what the hell does he care about a future he can't enjoy? He don't give a damn about your future. He don't give a damn about the future of his own people either. It's all about him. Farcon can get on the on the roster and talk about how incredible he is for four damn hours. I can't even imagine. I cannot even imagine getting getting before people and talk about myself for four damn hours. <laughs> Like damn. I guess you can when you when you great like that. That's right, Rowan. Farcon is, is about that that white man's money and slaves. Slaves for his plantation. That's all you hear from these people. The honorable Mr. Lewis Farcon. The honorable Mr. Lewis Farcon. Like a damn robot. The other man the Louis Farrakhan. The other man the... Sounds so stupid. You sound stupid. Can't even talk. The other, the other man the Louis Farrakhan. That's why I'm finna sit on. I'm finna sit on this toilet. The other man the Louis Farrakhan. That's why I eat my breakfast. The, the, the other man the Louis Farrakhan. That's why. That's why. I'm, that's why I'm getting a jab between my toes. The other man the Dumbass stuff. And they think they sound smart. They think they look scholarly. They think that's intelligence. You look so stupid and ignorant and dumb in the eyes of the world. And these other craps is no better. They just as stupid. Nobody can think for themselves bunch of comfortable Negro slaves looking for an easy way out. Tariq Nasheed gonna save you. Umar Johnson gonna save you. Hassan Campbell, Sadnetta, all these saviors on YouTube. You can't think. You scare you cowards. You have no vision. You're not creative. You're like a dog chasing his tail, doing the same stuff over and over again. But like I said, I can talk about it. That's all I can do. I'm not gonna change. I'm not gonna change you. And I don't wanna change you. Keep doing you. I know, Rowan. If, if this is the original video, check out check out my, my friend Rowan in the chat in the in the chat room. And you have the nerve to come to me. I need to rejoin Firecon. Been there, done that. I don't go backwards. I don't let people make a fool out of me. 40 years, don't have nothing to show for it. People always come here and keep telling me how incredible this guy is. Show me a video. Show me, make a video, show the incredible work that Farrakhan has done 40 years. Show it, show the people. Cause he damn sure don't talk about it on Savior's Day. Back in the day, before Elijah Muhammad speak, the National Secretary would come before the people and tell us about the progress of the Nation of Islam has done 
in the last year. Since Farrakhan has rebuilt the nation of Islam, mind you, Farrakhan has not rebuilt the nation of Islam. He does not have legal right to nation of Islam. He is not the only nation of Islam out here. Farrakhan is the final call incorporated. That's what he is. Using the nation of Islam, but he's not the nation of Islam. He's the final call incorporated. And all the Savior's Day that Farrakhan has had never report his progress because he's making no progress, never made progress, except converting people to a religion, getting people to listen to a religion. That's all. No progress. Doing nothing for his believers. Doing nothing for the people. You getting, you getting up to go to work. Giving your money so he don't have to work. His wife don't have to work. His sons and daughters. His biracial grandchildren, his white daughter-in-law, <laughs> and you struggling with your bills. Talk about we got to do for self, and you struggling with your bills, giving your money. So this guy and these other preachers can live high in the hall. Woo, man, man. If that's what you want to do, that's your business. Don't get mad. Don't get angry. Because people calling you out for the idiot that you choose to be. And you know you are. But that just goes to show you how pathetic and lonely your happy ass is. Elijah Muhammad said, why do you why do the so-called Negro love the white man? Because he gives you nothing. Actually, the white man, these races give you more than Farrakhan will ever give you. And he gives you nothing. You love Farrakhan because he gives you nothing except that fake-ass smile. Oh man, the United States government, the United States government, you say, fears Farrakhan, for what? The nation of Islam is getting money from the United States government going to the prison. The United States government is buying books and other material so the prisoners can have Nation of Islam crown. So clearly the Nation of Islam need the government. Then you have them in the bed with Scientology. They are not just using the information like they claim. They are actually friends. They have a relationship. They probably go to dinner and all that kind of good stuff with Scientology. That's not just using the information. You have a relationship with these people. But if that's what you, like I said, if that's what you want to do, that's your business. But people are going to call you out, and they have the right to call you out, and hopefully somebody else won't get caught up in that insanity. 
stay away from it. Stay away from these people. All this YouTube garbage. Stay away from these folks. I know they sound smart. I know they sound like they know what the hell they talking about. Time, time has revealed these people are no good for you. They are taking you on roads to nowhere. They just want to fill their pockets and enjoy the material garbage that the racists allow them to have. Allow them to have. They tell you success is, is pretty cars and houses. They did not build none of these cars. They did not make none of these diamonds. All the stuff they got from the people you said it is your enemy. That's all. Robin says the people in the nation of Islam ain't nothing but some upset and frustrated Christians. And that's all. Islam is nothing but an Arab, a Arab form of Christianity. That's all it is. That's why you still have the same people in the Quran and in the Bible. It's nothing but Christianity, Arab style. I'm not interested in being a damn Arab. You deserve better. Avoid these people at all costs. You wasting your time, you wasting your energy with these YouTube philosophers, YouTube, whatever the hell they want to call themselves, fake ass revolutionaries, none of them. The best they can do for you is give you a DVD, a damn t-shirt and some incense and maybe a block of government cheese or something. That's the best you're going to get from these folks. They don't have a pot to piss in. Oh yes they do. You the one that don't have a pot to piss in because you giving them all your money. Doing all the work that result in zero. Nothing. Because it makes you feel good. They selling you false hope, selling you false dreams. Grow up. Can't you see? Can't you see this is nothing but Santa Claus? Disneyland crap. Roll runner, bold runner, Bugs Bunny stuff. They do not impress me. This man does not impress me. These people on YouTube do not impress me. When they show me they can produce for when they show me they can produce for real, real, I will join them. I sure will. It's what I call the Mississippi campaign. You don't want to do that. You done. It's simple as that. And I'm confident. You done. It's simple as that. And I'm confident when I say that. When I say that. I'm confident when I say that. Because you don't know whether it's going to work or not because you never tried it. All this other stuff, I know it don't. You don't, you don't want the uh, You don't want the, that's a damn shame. You don't want the Mississippi campaign to work, even though it's good for us. You don't want to work because you want us, you want everybody to be a loser and pathetic like your happy ass. And you think because you reject the Mississippi campaign, you think you hurt me when our ancestors was doing that a long time ago. The only thing that stopped them the only thing that stopped them 
was domestic terrorism. That's the only thing that stopped them. That's a damn shame. But like they say, misery loves company. You want everybody to be a loser, RBG Nation, Black First, Kemetic, Hebrew Israelite, Nation of Islam, all these blackity black and African, more Science Temple, Nation of Gods and Earth, all of you choose, all of you choose to be losers and you want everybody to be a loser like you. You want to be praised for being a fake winner. You're losers. I'm telling you, you need to avoid these folks. My friend Rawin says that Rizal Islam is, is really, he's a Scientologist. He's a, he's a confused person because Scientology and Islam just don't mix. But that's how it is with the Negro. If, you, if you're gonna be confused, I guess you might as well go all the way. So on that note, I'm done with my rap. You wanna be silly and stupid? And you want to continue to be a loser. That's your business. But, but don't think folks not going to talk about you. Because you know you're a damn fool. I know you're a damn fool. And you deserve to, to be talking about. And really, I don't care about you. But you're spreading your lies. You forcing, you forcing these, 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 these fairy tales on, on innocent children. You should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of yourself. You really should be ashamed of yourself for running around forcing this black conscious RBG nation, black first, all this damn lies on the on your children you supposed to be grown you can do whatever the hell you want to do you can do whatever the hell you want to do you should be saying forcing all this fake belief all this fabricated scholarship on children that's right Rowan that's right, Rawin. Rizzo Islam and his mother charged with, with fraud. I don't know why they playing games with these people. I don't know why they playing games with these people. They need to go to trial or whatever and go to jail. They keep dragging the case on and on and on. But eventually, it has to come to an end. Like I say, you can you can keep believing the government is scared of fire count if you want to. There's no evidence, there's no proof of that. It's easy to talk. You don't show no evidence, no real evidence to show the United States government has ever been afraid. Oh, you know something, I take that back. In the beginning, the Caucasian people might have been a little upset when the nation of Islam was new. But then, but then they began to see, oh, this ain't nothing but some more religious garbage. They don't care nothing about Farrakhan. Hey, what's up there, fly, fly tie? They are not tripping on Farrakhan. And they do not, look, if they wanted to assassinate Farrakhan, don't look, there is gas. They know where Farrakhan lives. 
there's gas that they can put in your house, you will never know you wake up dead. They know how to, they know how to put false, false charges on you. And even though you innocent, you will still be put in prison and convicted. Farrakhan is not a threat. Malcolm X was a threat. Because the actions that Malcolm X wanted to do will put them at a very, as they say, precarious position. Also, Malcolm X was looking at the struggle from a realistic point of view. It was not from the view of his religion. Malcolm X was able to separate religion from the struggle. So they was not afraid of Malcolm X as a man. They are afraid that the people would catch on to how to deal with the situation from a real point of view instead of that religious garbage. That's why they fear. Why do they fear people that sell bean pies and newspapers on the street? They, what is there to fear? Now, to be quite honest, the people are ready. The people are ready for, for physical struggle or whatever you want to do. They ready. But when you fill your head up with all this nonsense, you know, it stops real revolutionary. That's why they they don't mind Hassan Kamal talking. They don't mind Sonata TV. Do you see their channels getting terminated? Like Eric Muhammad said, talk black to me. Do you see these people's channels get terminated? They let them have 100,000 subscribers, make money, make a living, the advice show, all this stuff that's out here. They allow it, they allow it because it's not a threat. Here you are, and I'm not bragging on myself. I don't get a lot of views. I don't have a lot of subscribers. Over over 100 channels terminated. Why is that? Why is it they don't want you to listen to the words that I say? YouTube mess with my view count, my subs my subscriber count. They don't bother these other people. I don't ask you for your money. I'm not begging you. I just want you free. And then you have trolls coming to my channel trying to make mockery because I'm not begging you for your money. I'm not giving you some kind of crazy ass religion. I just want you to be free. I'm not telling you how to live your life. I just want you liberated. You live your life the way you feel. I do not own your life. I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life. That's your life. You deserve to be liberated from an oppressor. It needs to come to an end. Like Patrick Henry said back during the time of the Revolutionary War. Give me liberty or give me death. That's right, Rowling. Look, these people, these people don't even have to come into a house. They can hear every word that you're saying in your house, don't even have to come into your, in your house, don't even have to come into your house. They got people they got professional assassins 
If they wanted Firecon murdered, it would have been done a long time ago. The FOI is not capable and he do not have the resources to protect himself from the United States government. That's reality. What you see, the FOI protection is nothing but show. It's nothing but show. I remember I went to a meeting and those brothers was doing a half-assed job searching people. And I told the minister, I said, your people are not trained properly. But because he hate me, I'm not part of the, of the nation of Islam. He don't want to, he don't listen to nothing I say. The brothers don't even know how to search. They're doing a half-assed job. And the reason why Farrakhan has not been hurt, because nobody, he ain't worth trying to hurt. He's a good entertainer, that's all. He's not a threat to nobody. Y'all go, buy your tickets, like you was going to a Michael Jackson concert. Listen to him, and go, go home and get drunk. That's what you do. And if that's what you want to do, all praises are due to Allah for the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. <laughs> And on that note, let me get out of here. I'm done. A video I thought was going to take 15 minutes. Because <laughs> it's, it's just ridiculous. We really believe this stuff. The United States government scared of Farrakhan. Right, okay. My, my next door neighbor dog ain't scared of Farrakhan. <laughs> really. Matter of fact, I don't know what y'all gonna do. Because his days are numbered. I don't know what y'all gonna do when that man transition. You depend on him so much. You can't think. You can't do nothing on your own. The Army of Mr. Lewis Farrakhan. The Army of Mr. Lewis Farrakhan. It don't make any sense to be so brainwashed. It don't make any sense to have no ability to think for yourself. None. The Army of Mr. Lewis Farrakhan sound like a broken record. I'm out of here, y'all. Thank you, Rowan. Thank you, Fly Tie. Thank everybody in the chat room, Facebook. And those who will listen to these words later on, thank you so much. And uh, I'm already 5,000. As Don Cornelius always tell us, as important, I wish us love, peace, and soul.